Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, been a while since I made a video. Uh, thought I'd share this engine here with you. I worked on this over the weekend. Um, it's a Marks 994 body. And it has a 333 or a 1829 motor in it. I picked the motor up off eBay for... Uh, 25 bucks and uh, I had an 1829 that I was gonna use this motor in but uh, the 1829 had the pilot broke off and I don't know I just wasn't thrilled about it uh, I've had the body for a while and I put the old motor that was in that 1829 in a Mark's Crooks. But anyway, I got this motor in. Uh, I decided to put it in this 994. I thought it'd be a little more challenging and a little more entertaining. So that's what I did um, to get it in there. Uh, well, basically, I can show you on this one. Um, I started out by cutting this way back for the the 333 type motor to go in there and i did have to notch the motor i don't know if you see it or not but where the notch on the motor's at i had to cut a notch a little bit lower um it just set way too high uh, where the original notch was at so i did have to do that Um, you can see I cut the fake truck off, like this one here, how Mark's made that like that, I cut it off. Um, on the front, I completely cut this lower part off, uh, just up high enough to get rid of this fake looking wheel. Um. That's the worst thing to me about the 994. Just, I mean, they're a pressed steel locomotive, but they could have been a lot nicer in my opinion. And I don't know. I know Mark set out to build more affordable stuff, but uh, anyway, this was my interpretation of it. Uh, put the uh, 333 motor in here. I used a American Flyer front truck, which is a little bit longer than the original truck for a 333. Um, and I offset the screw in it. You can see where I had to drill it back a little farther. That let the truck stick up farther under the pilot. And since it was a little longer, I had to do that to get it away from the wheels, but it allowed it to go farther up under the pilot. And I've been working on some lino pre-wars and I was a little bit inspired by those to use the copper and add the like copper piping to it. I used a copper smokestack off an American Flyer locomotive. Um, I didn't have anything copper to fit this, but it kind of give it that pre-war look. And uh, I got it hooked to some pre-war line L cars so we'll just go ahead and run it around here a little bit and uh, be done uh, but this is the kind of stuff I like to do you know just modify and make my own and uh, I get more enjoyment out of this than buying new stuff you know I bought some newer locomotives more modern stuff but I have more fun with this old stuff doing stuff like this with it uh, for the centric, uh, the old 1829 body I had, I cut the pieces out that held the eccentric and uh, screwed them on the inside of this body. It actually worked out really well. Pre-drilled some holes in them and uh, small screws and just put them on like that. I'm really happy with it. it. Turned out nice, in my opinion. 
I did repaint it, uh, painted the lower part with a satin and the upper part with a gloss black. So anyway, we'll run it around here a little bit and uh, we'll call it done. So anyway, guys, that's about all I got for you today. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.